Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Let's Make a Game. <clears throat> this is my lumber. Hold on, that's a little bit loud. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. There we go. So, um, I had this example script over here that every time you stepped on the pink box, it would start generating these trees across the top. And it was great, and it worked, except for the fact of when you started to tilt and turn and slant things. So I'll, I'll kind of MS Paint show you what was going on here. So whenever I had a box like this, it was no problem because all the little trees that go up here like this, and they would work because we were finding the um, the spots. Let's see, go to paintbrush. So we would go to the center of mass right here, <clears throat> and then we would find half of the height, add that in, right, and then we would do a plus or minus of the X and Y, uh, X and Z position, which would set it along here, right? The problem is this did not take into account. Can I rotate this? Can, can this rotate? <clears throat> Hold on, can I rotate, rotate. There's no rotate. Okay, so let's just, here, I'll just delete that. Um, the problem happened when I started doing stuff like this. And I would tilt the box. So this would simulate like uh, a slant or a hill or whatever and you would have like other objects right here, right? And whenever there was an object uh, that I needed to grow on like this, it was doing the same calculations like this. So it would take the center of mass, right? And then it would take half the height and put it right up here. And then it would take the, the length plus or minus. So I would start growing trees out here in the wild just like that. So, so this this was like the the grow area, and that's that does isn't how trees grow. They when they grow on a hillside, they grow on the hillside. They don't grow out here in the middle of the dang floaty floaty. <clears throat> so that's what I had to go and determine, and I figured it out during lunch today. And my little example right here here. Let's uh, let's grab this. So I'll slap it up up the top. Okay. So this is this is my. Um, this is how I started. I was taking this object here as my slant surface, surface slant, right? <clears throat> and then I was placing a uh, object on top of it. So it, here, here, let's just go look at the script. So I did this one to 100 times. Basically m me, the, or the box, is the script. Okay, so this is, this script right here is me, okay? And then I did surface equals workspace dot surface slant. And then I said CF, which stands for um, the oh gosh uh, frame C frame. The C frame surf is surface dot C frame. So I took this object and I grabbed its C frame. All right, and then I said uh, C frame is equal to C frame plus. So whatever this current C frame is. So if, if this is tilted or turned or whatever, it doesn't matter. We take that. And then we do the look vector times random surface size Z divided by two, uh, either plus or minus. So like this, okay? Because in, in Roblox, it's X, Y, Z, like that. Whereas in Blender, it's X, Y, Z. Does that make sense? So like the, the axis is to me, are different than what I've been like growing up and raised on. <clears throat> and so what we do is we do the original plus the look vector times whatever whatever this is. So the, the length. And then we need to do the right vector, which is like this, times the width. And what these are, the, the random is the um, half of the object's length right? Divided by two. So we can go negative half that way or negative half that way. So anywhere on the surface. And then the up vector is the surface or is the surface slant size. Actually, I can here, I can change this bleep, 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 to just surface because we have surface right here. So we want the surface dot size y divided by two plus the script parent size divided by two. And the reason why I do this is so the box doesn't appear in the middle because the middle of the C frame is where 
the point is we still have to go half of that object up. So when we run this, <clears throat> do -do -do -do, do -do -do -do. now I've got this happy little box that just moves along the surface. Now something else that we could do is the negative width and the positive width. We can actually make it say, hey, um, don't go past half of the object width. But I thought this was pretty cool and it, it worked. So it's working. And then uh, I, I tweeted this, by the way. And just to show you, um, we'll take this object and we'll just give it a weird rotation like, like this. Blink. There. So it doesn't matter what the uh, surface slant is, it will find that top surface. And if I did, were to turn the whole thing upside down, it would actually, it would grow on the bottom, which is technically the top facing down. So, there you go. Nifty little script. Now, trees, if you look at trees on a hillside, uh, let's see, wait, come here. Uh, hillside trees. If we go look at images. If you look at the way trees grow, Right? If they're on a hill, they don't slant out at the same angle. They grow up towards the sun. And if they were in a cave, they would grow up towards the entrance. Thanks, Fezzik. <laughs> Anyhow, in in lumber, in in my game, in my lumber, they're going to be growing straight up. So that's the other thing that I had to determine. And I will show that to you here. Um, so over here, for our little example model, I... Uh, where is the test gen script there it is so here's that same formula all right with an example uh, without the object itself <clears throat> because we need to add the object to the thing but in order to do a new C frame a correct C frame I took the CF position and then I took the CF position plus vector dot new Zero, zero, 003. Now, why did I do it on the, the Z axis and not the Y axis? Because my um, object, right? Whenever you say uh, front or sorry, um, look vector, the look vector is actually coming off the Z positive um, axis, which is how it would face. So when you create a new C frame like uh, like this uh, C frame dot new. Okay, this part right here, the first part is the position, the X, Y, Z coordinates in space. All right, so I could do vector dot, uh, vector three dot new um, zero comma zero comma zero, right? The second part of this is called the look at vector. So this is where the part is going to be looking at. So if, uh, here, I can, I can make a good example of that because I did one in uh, in my book, actually. So here, let's, uh, let's head over to our test part right here. Does this uh, have anything in it? Come here, test box. You only have can grab and, and something else. Okay, so um, hmm. let's do, where's, where's the Z positive axis? Z positive axis, I think? No, Z positive axis, right here. So let's do a decal plus decal on this side <clears throat> and let's give it a texture. Do I not have any textures? Let's just do uh, add image. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's add an image and we'll just add my face on there. Um, that's, that's good. That'll work, I think. Yeah, create. <clears throat> there we go. So that's my face and let's scale this up. Oh, 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 I'm not doing it per, um, there we go. Let's go move by ones. There we go. So that's, there we go. Yeah, that's okay. Um, so I'm going to add a script. Uh, maybe. If I can go back to that part. There we go, test box. Add a script. And this, um, let's do local 
this equals script dot parent. Um, CF equals this dot C frame. And then I'm going to do while wait point five sec uh, point two seconds do. Okay, so I'm just gonna make an infinite loop right here. And we're gonna say um, this dot C frame C frame equals um, C frame dot new. I'm gonna say CF dot position, comma. And then uh, I am actually going to determine my position. So, <coughs> uh, where are you equals game dot, <coughs> game dot workspace dot uh, colon. Wait for child, and then I'm going to, in, going to put in code prime, code primate dot humanoid root part dot c frame, just like that. So um, basically, this part is going to be waiting for me, and then it's going to be looking at me the entire time. So it's going to constantly face towards me. So we're going to use where are where are you dot position just like that so every 0.2 seconds where are you is going to get updated with my position my c frame <clears throat> and remember a c frame is a position and a rotation um but the rotation is all in radians and it's actually it's it's more like x y z m one one m one two m one three m two one m two two m two three m three one m three two and m three three so the notation actually looks more like this really big scale of it's more like a matrices so you got like x y z and then you get like this m x a second set the m1s m1 m1 so it's it's all separated in radian notation or eulers euler euler anyhow so the first part and then this is like the look at vector this is the left vector and then this is the back vector so um i could actually do stuff like um Actually, hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, local, check this out. Equals, um, this dot C frame. Hold on. Can I just say CF equals that? Would it change the position of the original object? I don't know if that'll work. Anyhow, any th this equals CF comma components like that, and it would actually return into each one of these the correct corresponding thing. And I think I can actually print that. Copy CF. Uh, no, not CF. Print and then paste each one of those. I think think that'll work. I think maybe <laughs> C frame is not a valid member of part. But what? 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 C frame is a valid member of part. <clears throat> C frame is not a valid member of part. What? Yes, it is. Or it's not a valid member of me. Okay, let's do this. Oh. <laughs> Silly gooses. C frame, capital F. There we go. Components. Or is it get components? Get components. There we go. Stop, stop, stop. And play. Come on, do it. I'm trying to shove a whole bunch of stuff in here at one time. <clears throat> 
Oh, that's not facing anywhere, is it? Oh, we got something already doing that moving. Uh, well, at least it's like returning the sea frames. The sea frame. The sea frame. <clears throat> Here, let's actually uh, let's make this instead of this. Let's make it the where are you. Dot C frame. Where are you? There we go. That way you can see it change as I move around. So right now I'm not moving and it should start moving around. It's not changing at all. What the heck? Going up things, going down things. Stop, 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 stop. Why are you not changing? Ghost game that works for or go to priming. Why don't I do this? Why don't I take this out and stay go to priming. Humanoid root part. C frame. I don't see anything changing. It's not changing. It's not constantly updating either. Get components. Alright, let's take this out. This is a bad example. Can I just do module dot position? Dot po position. And then I can take this position actually out. Position is not a valid member of model. Well, well. Let's hit stop. <clears throat> uh, and let's disable the. Okay, well, do I need to disable it? Here, let's just do this. I'll just comment it out for a second. This was not the intent of the original uh, video. This is not where I wanted to be right now. <laughs> but now I'm... Okay, so... Uh, inside the workspace, there's code prime 8. <gasps> That's why there's a second code prime 8. You silly goose. Alright, stop. <clears throat> so, I've already got a code prime 8, which is why it's not moving. Do, 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 do. Code primate. Come on, let's rename you. Um, let's call you Bob. Okay, Bob. You good? Alright. Well, that's not going to work because I commented it out. So. Alright, let's put this back. Boink. Boink. There we go. And now... Uh, da, 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 position is not a valid member. Okay, and that's because we need human humanoid root part dot position. No, 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 no. We we wanted to do the C frame dot C frame, and then dot C frame. Or is it just where are you dot position? There we go. There we go. All right, now stop. Now play. Oh gosh. Okay. Code Primate is not a valid member of workspace. That's because we need to wait for child. It wasn't there yet. Code and wait for child. <clears throat> I was walking through the woods one day and I rolled over this little log. And under that log there was a tiny stick. And I said, that log had a child. <coughs> there we go. Hey, so it's the the negative. <laughs> Look at the wrong way. Hello. <clears throat> Stop. Now we could do it on run service in each game update, or each cycle. Can can I go slower than that, or faster than that? Well, that's smoother. That box is just like, where are you going? I'm looking at you. Okay, but we're we're actually looking at the wrong end. So, <clears throat> look at look at vector is the reverse or the negative x position. 
So let's uh, go ahead down here to this decal. We're gonna say, oh, the face is on the back. We want the face on the front. Front, there we go, like that. Now the face is on the front. I must have put it on the back end. Hello, face. That's fun. Get it all confused when I'm down below it like that. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, idea. Let's uh, let's switch over to the model. I'm just gonna make this thing huge. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Control Z. Control Z. Control. No. Control Z. Shift. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shift. No, 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 that's not what I want. I don't want the decal. There it is. <laughs> Just for fun. All right. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> the things you can do inside Roblox, I swear. It's amazing. Can I walk under you? Hold on, are you too big? You're going to squish me. Oh, just barely made it. Just barely. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Code, what are you doing? Seriously. Well, that was 21 minutes of time. Here, let's, uh, let's just stick this over there. That, that'll be good. People will be like, what is that? So, but it will air out if uh, if I'm not in the game. So, um, we have to give this a yielding function of some kind. Wait for child. And if it times out, uh, if, where are you? Then, and there we go. Otherwise it just, it's just no fun. Well, we'll give it a point one. That way it's not constantly taking up a whole bunch of energy. <laughs> so if I start the game, then it'll it'll face towards me the whole time. Anyhow, that was uh, that was what I was trying to determine today was this right here. And look at this. Look, 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 look. So this right here, see how it, like, it doesn't look right? That's because at the top of this position, like this says, oh, I got 180 degrees. Boom! And then over here, it's got, um, it's got, like, basically a reset position, and then it does it again. So, I mean, I could have these weird, crooked, um, trees, which I'm going to fix by using this. Whatever the last C-frame position was, plus or minus, it's max, I guess it would call it theta, the theta, the plus or minus angle that it can use next. And I'll also look to see um, if there's more than one um, branch. Like if it's not just a single branch that's coming off and it's a double branch, then we will take the maximum minimum and divide it amongst the two branches themselves. That way it looks natural coming out. So anyhow, um, because I wasn't using the forward C frame earlier, all of my trees were growing sideways on the first branch. So their up vector was actually looking up versus the top vector looking up. So, but the growth script is uh, nearly complete on its way. And this still, it's not, not even close to being done because I have a lot more to do. Wait, did I do that today? I didn't do that one. Which one did I do? Hold on. This is the other thing that I was working on during, uh, during lunchtime. So I'm going to have these things called tree configurations. So like oak, it's going to have bark color material, core color, <clears throat> uh, core material, planked cell value, cell value, and then the actual um, tree itself, right? The tree module will be self-contained. This, this isn't the controller. Um, a controller would be like, for this specific region, I need this many trees and I'm going to grow them. And I'm going to watch, do I have that many trees? Yes. Grow. 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 Okay, I just got a, a tree that I lost. So now I'm going to plant a new tree. Alright, once it's planted, now I can grow. 
And then, like, if somebody chops down a tree, oh, I need to go and plant a new tree here in a little bit, grow. So the controller and the module are now two separate things. Um, this is the thing that I was talking about um, during the stream, that the ASP.NET, um, there was this thing called MVC, which was Module Visual Controller. Module Visual Controller, I think, MVC. And that's what I'm trying to do with this, with the, the tree scripts. So hopefully, um, by the way, I, this right here, this meta tables, that is confusing as all get out. I, I'm not gonna lie, Lua's meta tables is probably one of the most complicated things that I've come across so far in all of my programming history. Um, and go, don't get me wrong, I've, I've played with C Sharp, I've played with C++, uh, HTML, Java, JavaScript, jQuery, um, Cold Fusion, uh, what else? There's there's a ton. Cobalt. I, I used to know Cobalt. Uh, a little bit of RPG. Like some old school languages. And, oh, Visual Basic. And a lot of .NET. And still, like, th those were out uh, oh, oh, object-oriented programming. OOPs. Object-oriented programming versus what meta tables and classes are doing in Lua. Whew. Don't get me wrong, they're, just, they're powerful. These are very powerful. These allow me to make as many trees as I want. So for example, if I, um, okay, so like whenever I come in here and I do this equals instance dot new, and then I say part, right? When I do that, that, this, 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 right here, this actually has its own properties, its own orientation, its own everything. It's an, it's an independent object. So uh, that equals instance dot new part, right? Parabial abnormal. No, no, I'm the part part, sir. I'm not going to get into parabial. Okay, so this right here is a new part, and the other equals instance dot new part. So basically that right there is what we were trying to get to. So I could have like 10 trees, place them all into a table, and then that table like keeps track of like, is, is this one dead? Are you still alive? Do you need to branch? All that stuff, right? So the module itself, the part doesn't do the work, right? You can tell the part change color. You can tell the part, um, change size, change rotation, change position, right? But the part itself isn't going to be doing the actions of what you want that part to do. That that part will accept things that you tell it to do. That's what I wanted to get to with the, uh, the old module scripts. So I hope that it explains what I was doing today and uh, the basic scripts that I was going through. I need to take that out before I forget that I programmed it there. Uh, and we don't really need that box but it looked cool so I'm gonna keep it in there just for now I mean uh, should I do a, a little bit of building on this thing yeah let's let's build this a little bit I mean I got like what two minutes yeah two minutes let's grab this right here and we'll just do a duplicate well we're gonna call this a ceiling ceiling stretch you out over there like that Come up like that, boom, a boom. It's kind of hanging out there, isn't it? Uh, let's push you back one. There we go. And do I see some clipping going on there? Yeah. What's what's this about? What are, what are you doing? Here, come down. That way you're not clipping anything. Something else is clipping right there. Can we take that? Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Moved you too far. Little bit of clipping, not much. Not enough that I'm going to throw a big stink about it. Okay, maybe I will. Just a little bit. You over like that. That's good. Okay, so. What does this look like so far? Is this, uh, is this dark? May have to go and fix the, uh, the lighting. There's a little bit of shadows. Not much.
much though. Now it is, it's going to get dark if we have to, uh, let's see. Where's the time of day? Uh, time of day, we're gonna give it 2200. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh wait, <laughs> I got my day script running. That's why I can't, and I can't touch it from the side. Oh no, server side scripts are disabled on the client. Well, it's a good thing that people won't be changing the, the daylight time. That's good. Okay, maybe we'll just wait for a little bit. I need to start making some racks and a counter space and stuff like that. So, um, where do I want myself standing here? You come here, Bob. Come here, Bob. I used Bob. <laughs> I used my module for um, for um, sizing purposes, so I could see like the size of everything. There we go. And we'll just move them right in there like that. Uh, we'll change to Control L Local. Push, 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 push like that. That looks good. Whoa, 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 whoa. And let's go ahead and create a counter. So um, let's make a part. And I want this part to kind of be dark brownish. Can we give it an oak color, like with an oak finish? Uh, I don't want wood. Um, let's do planks. Where's those wood planks at? There we go. Some nice wood planking. Let's scale this up a little bit. Just about like that. Uh, maybe a little bit down. Rotate, just like this. Move. Hello. That looks good, All right? Let me scale this over just a little bit. Now, hold on. Got to take this out. And what did I just do? That part we're going to cut. And we need to go into the main area. The wood store. Wood store and paste into. There we go. <clears throat> now every time that we, uh, um, let's see, register, register, uh, desk, desk. We'll just call it the desk. And then, um, let's see, I should be able to duplicate that. We'll do a, a rotate on this side. I want to change this up to 45 degrees. Like that. So that's a full 90 degrees. Move by one stud. Ooh, it oof, oofed it. It oofed. Let's scale this down just a little bit. Uh, it's not gonna work. Now, if I come back out, is that going to go through? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's move this out one like that. Mm, okay. Let's do duplicate. I'm going to change this material to a nice metal. And we're going to turn off the one stud stuff. Pull this up like that. Pull the bottom up like that. about there. And we're going to change this color to a blue, tealish blue. There we go. I like that. So that'll be the actual counter where we sell things. Um, come out with just a little bit. We want a little bit of a lip on this. There we go. And then uh, Going to go like this. Come out. Oh, control Z. We're going to move by one studs again. One stud this way. Oh, that's why. Because it's not a full stud. That's. Of course it's not. 
Let's go look at the size. Size, size, size. So I want it to be one by two by one, like that. And we're going to change the color. Change this color to a lighter brown. And just slide, uh, turn off the studs, slide it right in there like that. Oh wait, is that? That's why, okay. So let's uh, scale up just a little bit. There, that looks good. I don't like that color. Let's change the color. Can we do a, uh, whoa, that's kind of pops. Um, yeah, that's too much yellows. Don't want it to look like pee. Red, no, we're not doing flamingo stuff. Let's just go, ooh, that's a nice color. Why not that one? Um, and we're just going to duplicate that, and then we're going to move it like this out to the opposite end of the counter, like that. Make sure that it comes all the way out. And we want to scale this down a little bit so it's touching to the floor. Touch to the floor. There we go. Good. Good. All right, this needs to come out over. This lip needs to come over like that, just a little bit, maybe a little bit more. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. And about like that. That's good. So that's the, the selling area that I'd, I'd like it to register things from. And we'll, we'll just leave that for now. Um... Is this all, or there's only four parts, right? Hold on, what was that top piece? That one, that one, that one. We're gonna call this the cell, oops, cell counter. And now I'm just going to group those up in a nice little module and we'll call them the desk. <clears throat> what are all these door frames doing? should probably group those up into a module as well. What is this? Oh, you didn't get into the, the part piece thingy. Where's uh, the desk? There you go. And then, uh, that's good. That'll be fine. Oh goodness, I've, I've gone over by like eight minutes. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber, uh, not Lumber, oh my gosh. Oh no, not Lumber, not Lumber. I'm not making like Lumber. I just want the aspects of the, the trees and the base and the cells and the, and those. And then I want to go on further to actually make some mining and make some um, fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. And the stuff that I like about lumber, I want to bring over to this game. That's what I'm trying to do. So thank you everyone for watching this episode of Let's Make a Game with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things that I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. But in the end... It's really up to you. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. Did I have my sound on? Oh, good. Whew. That would have been embarrassing. Oh, true. Thank you.